Here's the situation. Market forces are running rampant. Economic inequality is skyrocketing. The politicians don't seem to have an answer for this economy. It's boom and bust, boom and bust. The social stability of the old order, the rhythms of work and family, of religion, they all seem thrown out the window. What can we possibly do to make America great again? That litany of problems should sound familiar to you, but it's not the present day I'm talking about. It's the 1830s. And during that era, a group of educational reformers saw these huge economic, social, and political problems and thought that a stronger school system could solve them. They sparked the common school movement, the nation's most foundational reform. It shaped the institutional structure of American schools and embedded policy assumptions about what schools should and could do for a society. This will be an abbreviated examination of the common school movement. We won't have a chance to do a deep dive on all of the features of our school system that came from that common school reforms because they were so many, ranging from community-wide enrollment, co-education, age grading, local control with state oversight. Instead, we will focus on the major public policy challenges of creating common schools. We'll start by getting to know the reformers involved and move on to the policy problem as they saw it. We'll consider how these reformers solved these problems and conclude by considering what the common school movement did and did not achieve. As we dive into the common school reforms, think about how this set of reformers dealt with public policy questions that are very much still with us. Can schools establish meaningful equality of opportunity? Can they break down class distinctions and reduce economic inequality? Is it even important that schools be social mixing grounds for people of all walks of life? Or is it enough that schools simply fulfill the consumer demands of individuals who want usable knowledge and skills? With those in mind, let's learn more about the common school movement.